Hey guys, this is John. Um, I realize I haven't done a PlayStation Move review in a long time, and I uh, want to review Sports Champions. Uh, the second one's coming out October 31st on Halloween uh, this year, 2012. And uh, I almost dropped the remotes. Um, this game's probably still the best Move game, so I have high hopes for the second one. The biggest problem with this game is. Uh, you gotta calibrate these, by the way, but that's not the big problem. Uh, the biggest problem with this game is the lack of online mode and a uh, poor presentation. So, anyway, we shall get started. Uh, there's six games in all in Sports Champions. Uh, disc Golf, Gladiator, Archery, Volleyball, Bocce, and Table Tennis. I'll start with Table Tennis. Um, the characters are all kind of... The, the presentation is very stale. Uh, so yeah, these are your characters, they're kind of stereotypical, borderline racist. Um, anyway, I'll play it at like three points. Uh, table tennis is probably the best example of uh, the move. Um, everything's one to one. Uh, oh, thank you. This is you got to calibrate. A lot of people, surprisingly, reviewers complained about this and they didn't realize it. I mean, it has to detect your arm length to be one to one. I mean, I don't know what the big deal was. People just want to make complaints anymore. Just, see, I can actually play even like an idiot like this if I want to. Alright, well, and then I, and I paid the price. Alright, so I'm going to play for real. Notice how I can back up, go forward, miss the ball. Oh, I haven't played this in a while and it shows. Alright, so anyway, I'm going to get a point here. Oh, and actually it even tracks where your paddle is, which is a little bit disorienting because you don't actually have the paddle in your hand, so it's tough to tell where it's going to hit. But you can put spin on it. Alright, I'll play to five points, because i got to get a point. <laughs> Alright. Plus, he's really setting me up. There we go. Alright, so i got a point. Alright, so one more point. And it really is one-to-one. -one. It tracks you really well. It's an amazing <laughs> example of how accurate the move is, and it's actually better than even the ping pong game in Connect Sports, or the original Connect Sports. There's no ping pong in the second one, by the way. I mean, but whoop! See how? See how? I just want to show you real quick. Look, everything. All right, whatever. Everything gets tracked. I can. I can go up to the ball. I'm mean, actually too far away, too close. I was on the excess. All right, so let's quit. Yep. Let's show the other games real quick. Um, Bocce, not my favorite game, but it is fun. Uh, it's pretty much exactly what you think it is. Let's play an easy court. There's a lot of courts, by the way, but they're just variations of one another. One player, right-handed, it's over, whatever. You know, it's interesting, they talk about how far you got to stand away in, in some of the tips. Table tennis, I think, is 8 feet. Let's see if it, yeah, 8 feet right there. You know, what's funny is that everyone says, oh, 8 feet, you know, the connect requires the same thing and the move also. But to tell you the truth, you don't have to be that far away. That's not true. I'm not even 8 feet away right now from the move, so a bunch of nonsense. All right, so you can see, track one to one with me. This is, uh, like, the marker. You gotta try not to throw it out. I mean, it's pretty much just like real bocce. You gotta suffer through your opponent's turn. All right, so it's at the edge. It's a pretty easy ball. Again, track one to one. Now it's a little bit weighted, so differently, just like real bocce. So then you gotta suffer through the opponent's turn. There's no online. That's kind of the biggest problem. All right, so the opponent's closer than me, but. I really do like the game. Um, Alright, so I'm just going to fast forward. Alright, so I get a multi-point chance. And I want to show you, yeah, see I'm holding the trigger button down by the way. I can even throw it overhand, sidearm. <laughs> you know, you, you can do whatever you want. It's pretty amazing. Actually, believe it or not, if I don't bump my own throw, that'll be a good throw. Man. All right. Well, anyway, that's bocce. You, you play through the basic rules of bocce. Um, fun game. 
actually. If you have, you have, because there's no online, that's what really hurts the game, more than even the presentation. Beach Volleyball, you can play with two moves, which is neat. I haven't played this in a while. I actually like the Beach Volleyball from, uh, from uh, Connect Sports a little bit better. One of the few that I think Connect Sports did better. All right, so I'm going to play with two motion controllers. All right. Oh, I'm gonna... Nobody wants to see a guy. I don't think they actually play in bikinis or anything, so I don't get too excited. So yeah, it kind of shows you how to play the game. I'm actually gonna kind of pay attention to this, because I haven't played beach volleyball in a long time on this. It's mainly timing. It's probably the weakest of all the, the games on the set. Honestly, I wish it wasn't even here. Alright, so anyway. The calibration doesn't take long. They took it out of the second one. I'm interested to see how it works. So you use this to move around. I use the circle button. Oh, mistimed it. It's all timing. See, it's fairly average at best. Well, I'm really stinking it up, but I just don't like this mode that much. It's almost like Connect Sports, but worse. And you can see it's pretty dull, pretty average. Again, it doesn't even. You can track. Yeah, it, it, you don't have a whole lot of power even where it serves or accuracy. At least with Connect Sports, you could control where it goes. So, and that's volleyball, the weakest of all the games. Alright, moving on. Ah, archery, probably one of the standouts. Game's awesome, each course has a, has a little bit more difficulty. Alright, we'll do on the move. Love this game. You gotta have two controllers for it though, otherwise it's not as fun. Each um, each mode has like a boss if you play through the career mode and got all the trophies and stuff. It's actually quite challenging. It's really fun. This is my favorite mode by far. It's very realistic feeling. Really shows what the move can do. So. Ah, oh, you little jerk. It's basically a race. Oh, I didn't identify the target fast enough. And each round it gets a little bit harder. Woo! Man. You really gotta notch him. You know what, I'm gonna wait until the target comes up this time. Or not. Did I not get that point? Oh. Wow, I stunk it up. But you can see it's very accurate. Um, I'll do one more round. They get you more challenging as three rounds each mode. I really like this game. I'm not doing very well, but I picked it medium difficulty and obviously I wasn't ready for it. Oh. Jonathan, you stink! But again, I'm not going to fault the game for this pathetic display. Oh. Wow. Just hit one. <laughs> Thank you. Obviously, I guess there's a good thing there's no online for me, huh? You don't have to pull all the way back, and I think that's also, I mean, if you're really good at this game, you know how far back you got to pull. Your arms get tired from playing it, which I kind of like, but anyway, that's archery. Really fun. Uh, again, these games are all better with other people. Computer's so dull and dry. Alright, Gladiator. One of my favorites. Each person has a different weapon, which is kind of neat, too. Fighting the Coliseum, sure. Sure. <laughs> I don't want to get beat again. 
You use one controller for your shield and the other controller for um, like your sword or whatever your weapon of choice is. So I'm going to pick somebody. Yeah, I'll, I'll play somebody different. I think he, some, each one has a different weapon. It's obvious. You know, he has a sword, darn it. Let's see what she has. Sword. One of them has like a mace or something. I'm just looking for somebody with a mace, but I know, I'm just going to pick somebody at this point. He might have a mace. Ah, oh, frustrating. Whatever, we'll fight this. Anyway, it's uh, real close to one to one. There aren't too many gestures. You can move. You move around with uh, the motion controllers. Yeah, it kind of tells you how to play. The loading's a little bit bad. All right. See, so you can calibrate pretty quickly after you played it once or twice. See, one to one. And it's not just blocking low. There's there's real strategy into it. And your shield actually will get damaged. Really fun. Alright, so yeah, I think there's one more round maybe. Alright, I'll... I'll... Alright. So that's, that's a Gladiator. It's a little more exciting than that normally. Really fun. Again, more fun than somebody else though, and that's the problem. Last but not least, this Golf. There's quite a few holes. I think there's a total of 18. Um, no time to wait for loading. I'm gonna get this video. The the mini mode in this mode, and again, they all have mini uh, one one mini game. The mini game in this one's fun. You can actually throw two discs at once. You just like. And I'm not gonna show them, but uh, the mini games are fun, but they're not as good as in Connect Sports. There's just not enough variety. That's probably again the game. Was, this feels like it's a little bit rushed. Um, to use this to. Aim at your shot. You gotta factor in wind, which looks like it's two miles an hour. You can't see too well my picture in picture, but everything one to one with with, with your disc. Um, not a great throw for me, but all right. So I want to skip her shot. We'll play two holes. Oh, she sucks. All right. All right. I got this bush in the way, which might be a problem, so I'm going to probably have to give it just a bit of a hook. Yeah. See how accurate it is? You can put the tilt on it. Kind of reminds me of uh, Disc Golf on Wii Sports Resort and in Tiger Woods for the, the Wii. I don't think it ever came out for the other ones. So anyway, I'm going to have to wrap it around this tree. And I did a horrible job. Eh, well. All right, so this will be the last hole. Um, you're probably wondering what the heck I'm going to give the original one. Honestly, it would get a better score if, uh, oh, not enough. If um, I had online play and a slightly better presentation. As it stands, it's still a better option than maybe even Wii Sports. And I like Wii Sports and Wii Sports Resort. Um, I would give this game, really it's a tough score. It's between a seven and a half and an eight. I'm going to give the game a 7.5. It's really, if it had online play, it would be easily an 8.5. And, um, you know, you can see it's, it's just a little dry. That's the big problem with the game. But uh, Sports Champions is a great choice if you have a move. And uh, Sports Champions 2 comes out on Halloween. I'm hoping to have it or at least have a demo to show you guys. Thanks for watching. This was John.